lovelies welcome back to the channel the silver crown make sure you click that notification bell and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy this channel uh, even if you didn't like this video but you liked other videos give it a thumbs up thank you very much okay so as you can see, uh, whew, my head is needing some help. It is, it is washed. I, I, I co-washed it yesterday, which is something I had not done in a long time. And um, so I co-washed it with, I don't remember what that stuff was called. Let me think about that for a minute. Oh yeah, it was called, um, this is what I use for my co-wash, Ren Pure solutions rosemary mint cleansing conditioner so if you've never seen this before use it before you might want to uh, check at your beauty supply store or i really don't know where i got this i don't know if i got it from target or walmart or if i ordered it online from amazon i don't know you have to look it up uh it did okay it's it is a cleansing conditioner it's non-foaming of course and uh, when I got, and it does have mint in it, but to me, I could smell the mint, but I couldn't really feel it on my scalp. So I had some um, organic peppermint oil, and I just put like two or three more drops in the bottle itself and gave it a good shake. It's kind of thick, uh, but it does pump out with no problem, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and it, it did okay. It cleaned my hair the way I, I wanted it to. This isn't the first time I've used it. This is, it's about down to here now. So I just haven't co-washed in a long time because I've been busy. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so that's what I did. And now my hair is ready for something else. So I'm getting ready to, I haven't, uh, I haven't twisted my hair in a bit. Also, you guys, remember, if you have jewelry that has high crowns on it, you might want to go ahead and take those off so that you don't snag your hair. Okay, so I'm just going to... Uh-oh. Okay, there you go. I told y'all about my strange water bottle that... <laughs> it's really weird. I filled this with pretty warm water, but you can't tell because by the time it comes out, it's cooled off. So after I got finished um, co-washing my hair, what did I do? Because I did that yesterday. I don't remember what I did. Um, ouch. And it's growing, see? The thing is, my hair doesn't grow past a certain length. It's okay though, I think that's genetics. Doesn't mean it's not healthy, so keep that in mind too, if your hair doesn't grow past a certain length. It's not always that something's wrong with your hair or something's wrong with your, uh, your regimen. It could just be genetics, right? So, what I think I'm gonna do is just, the weather has gotten warmer, and some of the problem with that is, with my hair, is if I put it in a twist, if, or if I put it in twist, then it, dry, it can dry out faster. Uh, I guess because I have all the parts in my hair and the air can get to my scalp more quickly, and so my hair can dry out faster which is why lately I had been just kind of wearing it in a puff or, or something like that. I really, I like to wear my hair out, but with the weather being the way it is now, well, you know, it's not necessarily a great idea for me, not for my hair. So right now I'm just trying to make sure I get the water into it. And I'm still trying to think of what I put on it yesterday. I don't know. Um, slept since then uh, let's see what did I do um, I think I used uh, natural 85's melanin um, I did her leave-in conditioner 
and her and her multi-purpose oil. But today, I think I have enough of that in my hair, so I'm really just gonna, I'm not gonna put any more conditioner. The other thing I noticed, I can tell that when my hair is ready for a, uh, like a protein treatment or something, which I use Afrogee's two minute miracle, not the two step, but the two minute miracle. Um, I can tell when my hair needs something else <laughs> because all the little holes start showing themselves. And when I say showing themselves, I mean, it's like no matter what I do to my hair, it's, it's my cuticles just kind of stay lifted. Even if I rinse my head in cool water, the cuticles still stay lifted. So I know that I need a protein treatment where I can fill them in and uh, help, them, help them to lay down better anyway. So um, I see that that is starting to happen. And, and if you see me looking over here, it's because I'm looking in a mirror. All right. It's pretty detangled, but I'm just going to kind of go over it a little bit more. And also, I'm going to take my earrings off because you know what? The last time I tried to do something with my earrings on, I almost took my ear off. So, I'll get the back here. If you hear any buzzing in the background, it's because my husband is outside riding the mower on this crazy amount of land that we bought. So, okay, what to do, what to do? Well, I've got a couple things in mind. I don't really know how it's gonna, what I'm gonna do. You'll just have to hang in there with me and see, <laughs> see what we come up with. Okay, well, let me park this right here. Now, I have my butter mixture, which I just did a video about. I just scooped some out and put it in a little, um, a little dish here. And I will go ahead and put a little bit of that on. This has, this has lemon, uh, I think it has lemon verbena in it or something like that. I made it so long ago, I don't really remember what I put in it. But I haven't, I haven't twisted my hair in a while, so I'm gonna, while I'm working on that, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this back just to get it out of the way. This isn't really what I wanna do though. I don't know why I'm doing it, because I don't want to do it. I'll tell you what, let's not. <laughs> let's not do that. Ugh. Let me go ahead and, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, seal in this water. I usually, if I'm trying to do something really quick, I would do a two strand twist. And I can still do a two strand twist, but I have a picture at the beginning of the video where I do a two strand twist, but it's going up. I can't explain it. but. I'm going to try to do that. I can't promise you it's going to come out nice, but we'll see what we can do. I did it like that in my intro. Um, one of my intros is a picture like that. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to part it here and get this first section sectioned off like this. Make sure you take out the shed hair. And get this out of the way right now. So now I'm gonna comb this upward. 
Hmm. I don't know how to let you guys see it. I'm in my RV and it's really tight. Let me see if I can turn to the side here and give you an idea of what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to start here. Uh, let's see. And I'm really trying to pull up as I go. See what I mean? However, you have to, oh, this is not working. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to tuck this. This is really difficult to do. I tried to do it the other day. Uh, I have done it before. <laughs> it's just, I'm having a hard time today. I don't know why. So let me try this. I know it looks like I usually do it, but it's not. Uh, you're still out on this one, y'all. I'm not sure I like this. Um, I'll take a picture. Uh, take a picture of the back and let you guys see what I did. It's difficult to do because you you almost have to think opposite the way you're. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's it's still two flat twists, but it's you're going up instead of going down, and you know the position of your hands is different and all that. And I don't think I'm really creative when it comes to doing my hair. So I'm pretty sure I can chalk this up to a bad hair day. I don't know what happened this time. I don't know if it's the humidity or the lack of humidity or what is going on, but I know the look I was going for. I have done that look before and I, I can't seem to get it to go today. So anyhow, so I just showed you, I'm going to show you what I wanted it to look like. And then I'm going to show you how it turned out. Not a good day. <laughs> Not a good hair day. Anyhow, are you having a bad hair day or bad hair week? Did your hair turn out the way you wanted it to? Because mine certainly did not. And I'll have to try this on another day. I don't know. Maybe it'll work better if my hair is its not soaking wet. It's just damp. I don't know. And it's really difficult for me to comb my hair and to style it if there's no moisture in it is just too rugged <laughs> I don't know what else to say rugged stiff unruly 
whatever. Anyway, I'm having a bad hair day. Are you having a bad hair day? If you're having a bad hair day, just leave it down in the comment section what you were trying to do and what actually happened. Eh, make the rest of us feel better. <laughs> I guess. I don't know, you guys. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't get it to go, go the way I want it to go. But you know what? It's all part of the journey. It just doesn't always turn out the way we want it to. And, uh, you know, I started to do one thing and I thought, no, I'll do this other thing. Seemed, you know, not, not easy, but I have done it before. I don't know why I couldn't get it to go today. Uh, one of the things might be that because as I was twisting, sometimes you may have to stop and comb it out a bit and uh, to make sure that the hair is as straight as possible. And I didn't do that at all. So that might be why this time it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Anyhow, put your bad hair day experience down in the comment section and I'll see you down there. Keep it natural.